woken up. It must have been about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock now. Just sat outside, just watching everybody. Having my cup of coffee and I've got to get ready. It's a bit quiet. It literally takes me five minutes to make the bed up. And I like that I've got the walk through and I've got a seating area on that side and I've just got another seating area on that side and it's easy for me to make up a double bed in the evening. Love my flair! Well, I'm showered. Actually, those um, temporary showers are very good. I'm going to go and do the washing up now. Not much because I only had a simple meal last night. But it's very cathartic doing the washing up on the outside. Right, flares are all packed and cleaned. It's about 11 o'clock. I'm going to park in the car park that's just over there. at see a National Trust car park so I can park for free because I'm a member. And then do scaffold pike. Because I'm a member of the National Trust, I can park in this car park for free. Not overnight though. Because uh, the wardens are in force around here. So, I'm going to walk. I'm not sure if I'm going to do all of it. I'm going to do some of it. My legs are still aching from the last few days of walking. I've got very far. I've just sat down. Because there are some walkers ahead of me. They keep stop starting. I want to keep a distance from them. I don't want to overtake them either because I'm not that fast. That's like they're adjusting their coats, having a sip of water, holding hands, unholding hands. <sighs> I like this far so far, so I've got loads more to do. It's getting hot. Glad I bought my thin crew, so I'm going to take that off. So I'm only, I don't know, half a mile up. It's going to get steeper as I go up. Apparently, it's four hours up and four hours down. Shit. Right, so we've got across the stream da -da -da, and go up there. Oh geez, I've still got another three hours to go. And this is where I'm at. I've been chatting to every walker that's been coming down. Just breaks up my journey a little bit, but it's pretty awesome up here. God, climbing up a bloody mountain today. I've still got another two hours to go before I get to the top. Jeez. I've got this far. It's absolutely glorious. Uh, I think it's a fantastic day to do it. Yesterday it was so windy, there was no way. I don't know where the hell I'm going after this. <laughs> up there, I guess. It's very quiet up here. It's not even windy. I've got another hour and a bit, so this walker said. So, let's say two hours. It's a bit cold up here. Give me mountain walking any day over the gym, the elliptical trainer, the treadmill on a on the slot which I used to do. Nothing beats this. Because you can stop any time you want in day the scenery. You wouldn't think you're in the Lake District, would you? Except for the weather maybe. It's just turned, but I think I'm on the last stretch to the top now. But the paths are so brilliant. Fast walker. Is that the top? No, there's still another hour. <laughs> Shit. I'm not far from the top, but this is quite a good view. You can see the sun coming over here. And all those mountains. It looks like the Andes, doesn't it? But that mountain there has got a nice little trail to the top there. Nearly there. Bit of ice. Took my time, stop, start. Not like the others do it just continuously. I had loads of breaks. Made it to the top. Thank you, Molly. I'm starving. I'm such a klutz. I didn't realise I climbed the highest mountain in England. I had absolutely no idea. <laughs> I just kept going. I had absolutely no intentions of um, doing it. I thought I'd just go halfway up and then turn around and go back down. And I thought while I'm on it, it seemed quite easy, so I just carried on. It was just the last stretch, B 
bit steep and a bit pebbly, but other than that, it was quite a good little walk. <laughs> I can't believe it. I just wish I had some cake or chocolate with me. I think this is probably one of the best views from up here. It's a pipe. I really can't get over the fact that I've just climbed the tallest mountain in England without even having a walk. I'm normally a fast walker, but on grass, not on this rocky... I've fell down twice. It's just uh, nasty stuff. I'm taking my time going down now. It's slippery, it's slightly, I really hate it because of all the rocks. I've, my back's twinging a bit as well, so I'm going to have a fit. Just take it easy. It's only like four o'clock, I've got plenty of time. It's not like Scotland, but I was rushing down because of the light, but the weather ain't that great at the moment. That mist is really coming in now. Slight drizzle going to the top. I seem to have escaped it, but I have to walk down that. I'm back in flat. My legs are really gone to shot. Pouring down the rain outside, I've come back. And I'm too scared to sit down because I know I'm just gonna. It's gonna hurt when I get up again. I really am not gonna climb any more mountains. It, I don't mind going up. It's coming down. That's the issue. I mean, this one had rocks that were slippery, and and your feet undulating like that, and your knees, and it's just I slip loads of times. It's just no, I'd rather keep to my low level walking. The time is 6.30, so I can figure out how long it took me to get down. Probably took longer to come down than it did going up. Because you're just having to watch every step you take. No fun. Rest for the wicked, is there? Now I'm off to Wasdale, head the pub. Oh, I really need to stuff myself silly tonight. And apparently you can park overnight over there somewhere I have to find out <laughs>